Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Connected Women Win. My name is Tasha M. Scott and I am your host today of Connected Women Win. I am also the owner of Maximize Growth LLC. And for me, Connected Women Win is a movement. It is literally all about connecting to God first, connecting to ourselves so that we can connect to our purpose and then process properly connect to others. And I've been bringing on some phenomenal guests to share their journeys. Here lately, I've been really promoting a lot of authors, new authors. And today's guest is no exception. She is phenomenal. And I am actually excited to say that she is my family, for real, for real. <laughs> Today, we have Cheryl Riley, who is my cousin. Hi, Cheryl. And y'all. When I read this book, I was like, oh my gosh, this woman has been stalking my life because <laughs> I'm serious. Everything in there, I was like, she gets me. She actually gets me. Cheryl. Hi, Tasha. Thank you for having me. I am so excited. Thank you for being here. And I cannot wait to dive into this conversation that we're going to have today. So Cheryl, before we get started, will you just share with everyone who you are and what you do? Hello, Facebook. I am Cheryl Riley. I am a 30-year educator. Uh, my uh, day job or what I do on a daily basis is encourage students and um, lead teachers uh, here locally in Charlotte. And as I said, I've been doing that for 30 years and I'm so excited about it. I am also a certified life and career coach. Um, and I've been doing that pretty much in during the day, haven't done much entrepreneurially with that. Um, I am on here today um, because I just finished my first book. Yay! And I am so excited about it. And so, again, thanks, Tasha, for having me and uh, look forward to our time together. Oh, you are welcome. So let's dive in. What is the name of your book? The name of my book is Devoted to Him for Them. And I love that. Some pictures. Yes, I love that. And the subtitle? The subtitle is Encouragement for Those Who Serve Others. So tell us about your inspiration for writing this book. Wow. This book really happened by happenstance. I was mm -hmm. actually writing and journaling for a book on a whole other topic. Wow. This particular text is a devotional it started out as a devotional for teachers, but as we were writing it and having it edited, uh, my publisher said, you know what, Cheryl, I was reading this and I was moved and I'm not teaching anybody. <laughs> um, so uh, this came out of, I do a, an e-blast every okay. week for my teachers. Okay. And um, we have devotions every morning. And I just kind of began thinking back on the stories of my classroom or my interactions with individuals at school, whether it be parents, just all, all kinds of stakeholders. Right. And, um, and I recognize that when I thought that they needed help mm -hmm. and they did, but God was also helping me to hone my skills and gotcha. to be a better servant leader um, for those that I serve. And so that's how um, this book came out. I was actually at Panera Bread with a lifelong friend and um she said well why don't you do this and i was like okay and that's probably been about three to five years ago and uh the baby was born wow and, and we're excited so did it take you the three to five years just to once you the idea was born to literally just give birth through the writing process um it took me three to five years because you'd write a little bit and you'd put it down. And initially um, you're thinking, Oh, I can't write because I was a 25 year math teacher. Wow. And so 
math was what I did. If you wanted your, your children to learn English, please do not send them to Miss Riley's class. <laughs> you must know your gift. You must know your gift. And, yeah, um, this is true. <laughs> and so the, the process, it did not take three to five years. If I, if I put the time together that was actually spent in the book, um, I might it might say three to four weeks uh, if you really concentrate. But when you're talking about um, just the time for me to sit down and mm-hmm. to really pin what I wanted to say, it yeah. was those confidence pieces like who wants to hear this? Yeah. No, nah, I'm not going to do this. I changed my mind. You know, yeah. those kinds of things, knowing that, you know, my story is my story and it is my truth. That's right. My, my experiences are my truth. And, mm-hmm. and what we often are doing is looking at what we've been through and we're measuring it up in terms of what someone else da- did or That's did right. not do. Um, mm-hmm. but, but, I'm, but I'm not here to be measured by you. Mm-hmm. Christ is the measuring stick. That's good. And so since he's the measuring stick, am I doing what he called me to do? And that's why it's, it's called devoted for him, devoted to him. Mm-hmm. I never wanted to be a teacher. Never, what? never, never. I was a math. I, I majored in math and computer science. I was going to make yeah. big money. Wow. So yeah. your mind, you were thinking you're going to be working for corporations. I was going to be working for a corporation, being a systems analyst. Uh, That was when computer science was booming in the late 80s. This is what I was going to do. Um, But I rededicated my life to Christ Mm -hmm. when I was in college. Yeah. Had grown up in the church, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, grandma, you know, grandma prayed, you know, those kinds of things. (laughs) Um, But when I when I was in college, you know, you lived and enjoyed life. And anybody who tells you that there is no pleasure in sin, they're lying. I had fun. Yeah. (laughs) That's the truth. You know, but then uh, when I rededicated my life, um, mm-hmm. the our pastor was opening up a school and I thought it was marvelous for them. You know, I'm going to pray for y'all. I believe God for y'all. You are going to have everything that you need. Little did I know that he would call me. Wow. Wow. So here you are full circle. You um, life happens, you know, you grow in your career now and what you're doing. And this this baby, this idea, this concept for the book is birth. Who was your intended audience originally for the book itself? Teachers. Okay. Okay. It was, it okay. was, it was initially uh, teachers, but as I began to craft it, yeah, um, I was still thinking teachers because a lot of the, a lot of the stories and things are about my interactions with my with my students or things that happen in anybody's classroom. Uh, they're just. Um, generalizations. And then there, there were some things that, that were life lessons about not quitting and, and staying the course yeah. that had nothing to do with, with, with teaching, but it was just simply life. So yeah. initially it would be teachers. Um, when um, the person who wrote my forward read it, they said um, they put down, you know, an excellent resource for teachers and for parents. Well, that wow. applies to, you know, about 80, 90 percent of us. Hello. You know, that 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 we have because it was our interactions with children. Yeah, and gotcha. um, yeah, many times when we think that it's the children who need prayer, God is God is working on some things with us. That's right. And, That's um, right. Because how many times in society have we heard what's wrong with these children or why can't these children get it together? But I love this concept. Of what you're saying is that we've got to be devoted to Him mm-hmm. in order to even be a help for them. Absolutely. That's powerful. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? And and I love um, the, the thing you said, encouragement for those who serve others, because so many times, especially if you're a people helper or you, you've dedicated your life to helping, you can sometimes put yourself on the back burner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, during that three to f- five year process, what did you learn about Cheryl? Um, gosh, I learned that. I had to believe in Cheryl mm. and what she had to say um, and, 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 to, and to share what God had given me. Yeah. Oftentimes, you know, you, you actually see that you're operating in pride. Wow. You know, of that, you know, because it, it could be, you know, you, it could be a false sense of pride and like, you know, this is not good enough. And then you look at people and say, oh, girl, that's good. That's good. <laughs> and you're looking to get, you know, looking to get your pats on the back and your little brownie points. Mm-hmm. And, um, 
it's it's okay what did god tell me to do and it's not necessarily about getting those brownie points as much as it was about being obedient to what he had called me to do that's That's how i ended up at this space for 30 years wow because i believe that he had called me to do it that's that that was my whole reason for being in the classroom yeah you yeah. Know, um, and so that service piece, I learned a lot of times that people mean well, mm-hmm. you know, and we're thinking that someone did something and that it was intentional. And yeah. you walking around mad at folk who not who not mad at you and don't know that you mad. Wow. You know, so understanding, you know, that love people, love yeah. people where they are. And if yeah. we love them where they where they are. The, the true meaning of whatever they said or whatever they meant will will come out. But if Absolutely. I'm jumping to conclusions about where you stand and what you think or what what you said and how it didn't come out right. Yeah, that, that's that's not important. Right. That deal with me. Yeah. And it goes to like in this type, this subtitle about service, you know, like that's the operative word right there is having the willingness and the want to to serve others. And, and there's a lot of things when you serve others that it's thankless things that you do. Like people may never know the extent of your service, but that's okay. Right. Yeah, right. absolutely. Because, um, because what's my motivator? That's right. You know, right. Um, I, I am the head of schools. Mm-hmm. However, I don't have a problem picking up a piece of paper. That's good. I don't that's have good. a problem whacking the table off. I don't have a problem mopping. You know, yeah. it's, it's what, what's my job title? What needs yeah. to be done? That's good. That's and, and good. That's, and that's, that's the true meaning of service. Mm-hmm. What needs to be done? Mm-hmm. And, you know, if, if I can't do that because I'm so high, then I'm not a servant. Wow. Wow. So are there some opportunities in the book to learn practical ways on how to transition your mindset? Um, there are, there, there, there are, uh, I'm just trying to think of, um, I'll give an example. There's one okay. and it's, it's there's 31 days. And, and there's one where, um, there's a young gentleman who made me come to school ready to teach every day. Okay. And, um, he, he just made me, you know how you just have, you have, you know, when you're a teacher, okay, I, I got this, I can teach. I, I, you know. <laughs> but I had two, two young men, actually my first year, but this one here, I mean, he was a prodigy. He, he was just smart. Yeah. And I'm teaching math one day and I know this, I got, I have the answer key. <laughs> I know this, I have done this work. So I'm going over the problem in the, in the midst of my going over this, you know, algebra problem that has several steps. He goes, you're wrong. Whoa. That's not correct. Okay. So, you know, I got two options here. How will I respond? Mm. And so I said, you know what? Cause this, this particular time I knew I was right. There've been times, okay. that I <laughs> but this time I knew I was right. Mm-hmm. So what I said to him, I said, okay, young man, um, come up here and show Miss Riley where she missed it. Mm -hmm. And if you show Miss Riley where you, where she missed it, you have an A and you don't have to do anything for the rest of the year, but show up. Wow. Now, you know, and I know that if a teacher tells you that she got the right answer. Okay. Okay. She's not going to let you come to school for the rest of the year and do nothing. Right. He comes up and he goes, you do this and you do this and you do this and that. Oh, and he realized where his mistake came. And so that here again, I had another opportunity. I mm-hmm. could build him up or I could say, see, I told you I was right. But I said to him, wow. you did an amazing job. Thank you so much for your initiative. I appreciate you. Class, give him a hand yeah. for coming up. I'll see you tomorrow because you know, I got your assignment ready for you. You know, but, wow. but letting him know, validating the fact that he tried. Yeah. Uh, validating his courage and his bravery, yeah. but then letting him know, well, let's go back to this because mm-hmm. what I need them to know that getting the right answer is a good thing because he was one of the ones who would tell me, why did you go through all of that? Mm. Well, I may know the answer is to do X or Y, but sometimes right. God is not trying to get us to the answer as much as he's trying to get us through the process. Wow. That's good. And so so with, 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 our, with our children and with, with, with him, there, I think there are, um, there are several things or quite a few things in the book that will kind of lead us to that place. 
where was it that I needed to tell him that he wasn't as smart as me? No, mm -hmm. I had him to stand up because I believed in him. That's good. Okay. But yeah. when he was not correct, I didn't demean it because mm -hmm. so many times I got the answer and we could say that as people who are in leadership. Right. You know, because I'm here, you know, I, I, I'm the leader. You're listening to me. I'm smarter mm -hmm. than you. Well, no, yeah. that's not how God does it. That's right. God takes us to the process and God doesn't give us all the answers. He says, trust me, take a step. That's right. And, yeah. and so there, there are those opportunities where it is that, um, that we see that as leaders, yes, we are ministering to people, but while we're ministering to people, sometimes they're ministering to us. And then mm. at times it's where God is actually using this particular time of yeah. our service to minister and to teach us as well. That is so powerful right there. And let me go back to this. Okay. So you made a statement. You said it took you three to five years. Once you had the idea, God gave you the idea for the book itself. And I would even venture to say that during that time, you probably had times where you wanted to just put it aside or quit, or you didn't think it was going to happen, you know, and I'm going to use that as an example for what you just said too, because sometimes the teacher, God mm -hmm. will give us the idea and we want to run with it and say, I got this. I, it's only going to take me three to four weeks, mm -hmm. you know, and then you may even have people saying, well, what's taking you so long, <laughs> you know, yeah. But, but yeah. And, and, but here's the thing. You said the P word process. Mm -hmm. There was a process mm -hmm. that had to take place internally Absolutely. in order for it to manifest outwardly. Yes. And that's a good lesson right there, because in your book devoted to him for them, it's all about the connection, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. right connection that we have to have in order to be show up and be anything for anybody. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so now you have a unique perspective on the other side of this, that you're helping people who you thought it was only one group of people. Mm -hmm. Now you're helping multiple people because of the process that you committed to. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's when powerful. I went through, um, in 20, 2015, I think it was, uh, when I went through my coaching, mm -hmm. um, I went I went to the initial, which what it was our um, ACT training, and then mm -hmm. I went through uh, life forming. Okay. Um, and when I went through the life forming, that was our that was my second um, coaching certification. My book was my project. Hmm. And my peer at that time, she was preparing for her initial sermon, and I was preparing for my book. Wow. Um, in this in this in the second session, so we you know we you know you both and she was kind of help co coaching me. Are you doing this? You need to be writing every day. And then I remember back in January of 2015, when I first met Melissa, uh -huh. um, we were doing this, uh, we, were, we were at a women's meeting and she had us doing these arts and crafts. And what is uh -huh. your thing for this year? And mm -hmm. I wrote, finished the book. That wow. was 2015. Man. That was 2015. And this year I pulled it out and she and I were talking and we realized the length of the journey. Wow. Mm -hmm. But but in that you can get so tied up into God. Why is it taking me me so long? Well, you know mm -hmm. what? I, I got to get you ready. You yeah. can't go down the aisle until you're ready to be the wife. Come on. You That's know, crazy. and so he, he was working on some things in me so that when I wrote it, 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 it could speak to those it needed to speak to. And That's it, you know, and I was thinking, well, you know, it should have been out by now. It should have been out by now. But I have come to grips with all things in their time. Yes. Yes. And, and, and now is the time. That's right. Now and I believe in those in the in the waiting time, we want to call it. I believe God's working on our character. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. And our integrity, you know, because that way, when we do see the manifestation, we can show up and literally show up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then with the title, like devoted, you know, mm -hmm. what I cannot be doing is mm -hmm. telling a lie. That's you right. Know, and somebody said, okay, she got this book called Devoted for Him. I, I just saw her living for the devil. <laughs> you know, so we, we, it, it is, you, you have to be very careful mm -hmm. about the titles that you put on your stuff too. Yeah. Uh, I've done, I have been devoted to him in this mm -hmm. thing called education. 
Yeah. For 30 years. I, I can really say that. And when I lay down and go to sleep, I know that I have given, uh, I have died daily to my yes. children. Yes. You know, um, mm -hmm. so, so that's real. So he's been building that in me for that long. And, who, and who's yeah. to say, it probably took him out 29, 29 <laughs> years, 364 of those days to make sure I was real. <laughs> I got to, I got to. And and then he used an area that you were already in. He didn't take yeah. you to some foreign area. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm going to use all of it. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Do. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what would you say to somebody who now, who may be sitting on the other side of this, watching it, who is maybe in their process in time right now? What encouragement or advice would you give them? I would say rest. I, I would say rest and follow the voice of God. Mm -hmm. So many times we, you know, we got a plan. Yeah. We got a plan. I was, I was working my plan in terms of um, going to school, getting my degree. I had a plan. Yeah. And, and I look at it and the word of God says in Jeremiah 29, 11, mm -hmm. you know, I know the plans that I have towards you, say of God, thoughts mm -hmm. of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. A yeah. hope in the future. Mm. It says in in Psalms, Psalms uh, 37, 23, the steps of a good man, a good woman are ordered by the Lord. And mm -hmm. so I would say that many times we think we're ready. Yeah. We think we're ready. Yeah. Um, but but it's it's just not yet. Not yet doesn't mean, you know, not yet doesn't mean no. It right. just means it's just let's let's just wait. And when it comes out, I have I have seen God do some things. I, I mean, even this week, I've just I've just been so appreciative of God of how He's yeah. just been loving on me, yeah. and how it's launch week, mm. and I haven't had to ask for a thing. Wow! You know, it's just people coming up and saying, "How can I help?" I, right before I got on, somebody said, "Well, did you think about this?" And I'm yeah. like, "No." She said, "Well, I'm at the store now. I got it." Oh, that's so good. You know, and so when, when you, you it, I, I believe that when you're doing it in his time, it's sweatless victory if we'll allow him to do it. Yeah. And so many times we, we say, listen to God or follow the voice of God. But how would you or what advice would you give for someone that um, that basically is like, I, I just don't know, like, I, I think I'm supposed to do this but I just don't know if this is God or if it's not God, like, what would you say to that person? I would say um, that if you and I are friends, Tasha, we communicate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's we good. We, we communicate. That's good. And so if somebody told me that Tasha said something, I was like, yeah, that sounds just like Tasha. Mm. Or that Tasha doesn't, no, Tasha didn't say that. That's good. You know, so after I have spent time with my friend, that's good. When my friend begins to speak, I know mm -hmm. his voice. Yes. And that sounds like him. And then yeah. if I miss it, my friend Tosh will say, well, Cheryl, that's not what I meant. Amen. And she'll correct me and, and it'll be just like your GPS. It'll reroute. That's you good. Know? So, that's so good. I, I'd say the only, the way that I get to know God's voice is I spend time with the voice. That's I good. spend time with the person. Mm -hmm. And so in spending time with the person, I get comfortable and I, and just like you being my friend would tell me, Cheryl, that's not what I said. Do it this way. Mm -hmm. then, then, then I would reroute. Yeah. And, and I believe that if, if we believe that we're walking according to what God tells us and we, right. and we're going off on the wrong road, he'll reroute. Mm -hmm. And on it. the inside of us, it'll be like, no baby girl, go this way. <laughs> that's it right there. Beautifully said that's devoted to him. You know, because even after he gives you the idea, you still got to stay close and stay connected to see it through. Absolutely. And even after the manifestation of it, you, you still because here's the thing. You can have your quiet time. What I mean by that is in the processing time, it can feel quiet. It can feel isolated. It can feel lonely. Mm -hmm. But if you're still connected to him, he's going to he's going to walk you through step by step. Mm -hmm. But then here's the thing, too. When you see the manifestation, you still got to stay connected. You still got to stay connected. You still mm -hmm. got to stay connected. I have an example. I remember when, and this was, again, those 30 years ago, mm -hmm. I was trying to decide between do I take this job offer that mm -hmm. I was, that I was making or do I apply? 
what, no, what do I do? Because I was coming out of school. They were asking for resumes. I didn't know what to do. And, <laughs> um, and our pastor had a prayer line. He said, there are some of you guys who need to make a business decision. Mm. He said, come on down. Let me pray for you. So that Sunday morning, I went down and he prayed for me. And I, you know, I, I still didn't know what to do. I came back to church on Wednesday night and I was like, okay, God, I still don't know what to do. And it was amazing. I have never seen him do that since then or before then. But he Mm -hmm. said, I prayed for some of you all on Sunday to make a business decision. And some of you all still don't know what to do. Come back down here. Wow. Ain't ever seen that happen. And I had said to God, I still don't know what to do, man. And he did. He had, he had us to come back down and I'm like, that's me. I'm confused. I don't know. What to do. <laughs> but, but God hears us, mm-hmm. you know, he said, he says, he says, my sheep know my voice, but you know what? Not only that, you know, it, he knows mine. Yeah. I know he is and he knows mine. So when I, yeah. he said, call upon me and I will answer you. Yes. And so we have just got to, if, if I'm not calling, why am I looking for answers? That's good. Yeah. That's good. Or looking for answers in the wrong places. Right. Right. You know, um, I think that's the key right there. You said something, too, that was real crucial. You said a couple of things, but I'm point out this one. You said rest. Yeah. rest. Mm Now, when we get the because he'll download the the vision, he'll download the idea, but we still Mm -hmm. need to rest in him. And when he gives us the thing to do, we've got to take the step. Absolutely. You know, while we're resting in him, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and, and I think that is so crucial. Don't try to get ahead of him, but don't be like the, um, the talent, the parable of the talent mm-hmm. and feel like, oh, I'm just going to bury this and I'm not going to do anything. Cause I'm waiting on God, <laughs> you know, um, or, or running, running because you had, you heard half of it. True. Mm-hmm. You know, God, God told me I'm going to write the book. And so mm-hmm. what does it take to write the book? And then you go out spending all this money doing all these things and you're trying to figure out why it won't come together. Well, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't stop and get the strategy. Yes. Okay? So, so in, in that resting in that time with him, he wants to give us that strategy. Yes. And so why, why are you running off half cocked? That's good. That's I, 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 I think you'll see that. <laughs> I want to, I want to move in him. And there've been times when, you know, and I, I, you know, my husband, why, why did you go do that? I thought we talked about doing it this way. Well, I thought we was going to, and I saw this. And so this is no, no, baby. Yep. That's not what you should have done. Yeah. But what gets us in trouble in that is the comparison. Yeah. Cause Absolutely. we're looking at what somebody else did. We're looking at the way that they did mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And we're thinking, Oh, that's, I should do that. Or that should right. be my path. But maybe God never told you to do it that way. We can be inspired by people, but right. we still got to be true to mm-hmm. his voice and what he called us to do and how he called us to do it. Absolutely. And, and it just kind of goes back to, you know, when, we, when we're saying the steps or when we're saying God has good, has plans, Tasha has her own GPS system with God. Yes. God, mm-hmm. God has a GPS for you to walk. He has a GPS mm-hmm. for me to walk. And when I'm trying to walk Tasha's, I'm trying to figure out why, why things not falling because I'm not Tasha. That's and right. so all those things that work for her were, were marvelous for her. That's right. But that was not the plan for Cheryl. And so I can't mm-hmm. get mad at God if I'm walking out Tasha's plans and they're not working for me. Or get mad at me. Right. <laughs> or get mad or envious even. Yes. You know, and like, you know, well, she think, no, she don't think y'all that does that. <laughs> Take your mouth off Tasha and go That's back right. and with your friend Jesus. That's right. That's right. And Cheryl, this, okay, so I can ask this because you are my family. Um, I'm going to try to stay safe here, okay? <laughs> okay. We will call those- names. <laughs> We're not going to call names. We're not going to call names. No, we're not going to go there. Okay. Um, Cheryl is actually my cousin. Um, my mom and her dad are our brother and sister. So we are a biological family. Um, but this is a good question for you, Cheryl, because sometimes, you know, I'm going to do a statement, then a question. Sometimes I think that when God calls us to do something, um, society as a whole will look at our family and think our family is supposed to support this they're, or they're supposed to be on board with this. But would you agree or not agree that when God calls us to do something, maybe our, our best supporters are not going to actually be family, that it may be the people that he's called to serve, I'm mean, called to come alongside and support us and that we've got to release our family to just be family. What do you, what are your thoughts on that? I 
Amen. Amen. <laughs> um, you, you, you just really have to be careful about feeling, making people feel obligated or feeling as if you're entitled to have a tribe. Yeah. I don't, you know, th there are people who are called to support me. That's right. You know, That's um, right. If, if, if my family has a birthday, okay, call and say happy birthday. Yeah. But just because they had an event does not mean that mm -hmm. I'm supposed to attend or that I have to attend. Right. In the same way with me. And we cannot get our feelings hurt and be like, well, she ain't call me and tell me, you know, yeah. or she didn't ask me to be a part. Well, that may not even be my gifting. Right. And, and, and like I just said about, you know, I, you don't want me to teach the English class. They knew that. So they didn't put me there. So why yeah. would I call you who are um, your, your job was to be a gymnast and I want you to help me to write my book. You can come to the book launch. Right. You know, but but I may not need your particular skill set in what right. I'm doing. That's right. Know? And so you got to make sure that you have the right people in the room and the right people on your team. And it may or may not be your family. That's but right. As your family. And, and I, I remember when you first came out with your with your first book. Mm -hmm. like, don't limit. Don't limit me. Yes. Um, I remember calling and we talked a little bit and I think I may yeah. have passed some names along to you. But outside of that, I don't think I ever went. You know what? And we didn't fall out. No, we didn't. We, we, no. we, we didn't fall out. And intermittently, I'll see you online. I'm like, hey, Tasha, you know, and, and we will hit each other up. But, you know, we, we celebrate each other. Right. But we're not at each other's event and we're still family. Is that not amazing? That's right. It that's, can right. that's right. That's right. Like, that's possible. It can happen. <laughs> it can happen. It can yeah. happen. And then sometimes you, they, they might, they themselves may feel like Tasha doing something else. I ain't going nothing else Tasha have. You right. know? So, so what we have to do is we have to release people. That's right. To be their amazing selves. Amen. Okay? Amen. And if I can participate, I will. And if I can't, I'm okay. And I'm not under condemnation because you, because I don't come and yeah. you're not going to whip me that I didn't come. That's right. That's right. And, um, case in point, I got a chance to me and my daughter got a chance to come up with my mom. Um, was it Thanksgiving that we all saw each other? Yeah. yeah. And we hadn't seen each other in wow. years. Yeah. You know? And you and I didn't grow up together in, in close proximity, but we got a chance to have family time. Right. We did. You know, when I came up and that was so cool. And I think um, it's just been lately within maybe what the past couple of years that we've had more connection with each right. other. Mm -hmm. um, we were still family, you know, but I think just because of what we're doing now, there's more of the connection and the communication. But that's but my cousin Tasha, a rock star. She just be all <laughs> like, she see what she's doing. And I'm but I am so proud of you. You are, uh, you are and likewise, likewise, and it's an honor to be able to have you on this platform and say, This is my cousin, you know. And I don't do that just because you're my cousin, I didn't feel any obligation, but I genuinely support what you're doing. Absolutely love the title, devoted yeah. to him for them. So, I just think it's a win, you know, when we do give people the freedom to be themselves, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So you've got a book launch coming up. Whoo. I tell you, <laughs> people don't tell you the whole story though. They just don't. <laughs> it. <laughs> it's, it's been, it's been amazing, but yes, the book launch is Saturday, um, Saturday, April 27th, a week from tomorrow here in wow. Charlotte. And um, I am so excited. I've got a wonderful team of people who are supporting me in the process, helping me get everything together. But I am just absolutely excited. And so uh, if you're in the Charlotte area, we are, we, it will take place on Arrowwood Road at the Drury Inn right there beside the Ruby Tuesday. So come on out and support us. And uh, we look forward to seeing and sharing with you and sharing the book with you as well. Awesome. And for those of you all who are joining on Facebook, I actually put the link in the description for this on how you can get the book on Amazon. But Cheryl, you were saying your website's going to be um, coming up real soon. So what's the website link when it's when it goes live? The website is my name just as it is on the book, CherylCReilly.com. Awesome. 
Awesome. I am so excited for you. So excited. I think this is going to touch so many people. And I love that you said parents too, Mm because I never thought of it from that standpoint, but I'm like, yes, I need that for my child, (laughs) you know? So that's to be encouraged while I'm serving her as Mm -hmm. mom. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. So Cheryl, any last questions um, and why you're thinking of not questions, just comments, but while you're thinking of um, last comments, I want to say hello to some people here on Facebook and just see if they have any questions for you. So I'm going to say hello to Monica, Katina, Angie, Dolly, Latoya, Tamisha, Zach Lewis. Hello. Angie said great teachable moments that you shared, Cheryl. Um, yes. And if there's anyone else that has any comments or questions for Cheryl, um, go ahead and put them in the comments, but Cheryl, just what, what last, um, wisdom would you share with individuals concerning devoted to him for them? When I, uh, think about this book, um, the day that it went live, um, I said, I think my words were the gestation period is over. Mm. Um, delivery day is here and I am so excited. Um, when we think about um, a mom being pregnant, they're nine months. Yeah. And it's two years. We don't know how long we're going to carry the baby. Mm. Um, but what we do know is that we're having a baby. Yes. And, and when you know that you're having a baby, that hope is always there. You know, what am I going to name it? Will it be a boy or a girl? I'm getting the nursery ready. You prepare for it. Yeah. And oftentimes in our gestation period, we can get discouraged. Mm. But if you're a mom carrying a baby, when they first tell you you're pregnant, you're excited about it. (laughs) They give you a due date and you ju- and you work towards that due date. You know, you go buy the maternity clothes, you get you get everything ready. Mm-hmm. What I say to everyone out there that whatever your baby is, mm-hmm. stay hopeful. Wow. You know that he is faithful, that promise, that the gifts and callings of God are without repentance and continue to act like it's happening. Mm. And it for me, it, it may have taken three to five years, but every now and then I pick it up and I put a note down, yeah. you know, keep working towards your goal. Keep working towards your de- delivery and know this, that that period of gestation has an end point and the baby will be birthed. So whatever your baby is, move with expectancy, mm-hmm. resting in him, knowing that that delivery date is on the way. That is powerful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Monica says, enjoyed the conversation, remembering, remembering him in all things. The reminder blesses me every time. Amen. Thank you, Monica, for sharing that. Well, this has been absolutely amazing. And again, if you're on the Facebook page watching this, I did put the link on how you can order Cheryl's book through Amazon, which is available now. And she will have her website up um, in the next couple of days. Remind them again what the website is, Cheryl. Cheryl C. Riley dot com. And that's C-H-E-R-Y-L-C-R-I-L-E-Y dot com. Awesome. Awesome. And Cheryl, um, where, where are you on social media? Facebook? I am on Facebook. I am on Twitter and I am on Instagram and I am growing with posting. How about that? Okay. I love it. I love it. Sounds awesome. Well, you have shared some awesome, awesome Wednesday and what a great day on Good Friday. Amen. He's a good, good father. Yes, he is. To just be reminded of our devotion to him. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone who has showed up live to watch this. And if you're watching the replay, you can still comment and be a part of the conversation. Again, I'm your host, Tasha M. Scott for the Connected Women Win Show. And I am crazy about connection, y'all. Connection to God, connection to ourselves, connection to our purpose so that we can properly connect to others. And if you know of someone who would make an 
awesome guests for this show and you want to nominate them, do me a favor, post it in the comment section or inbox me because I want to continue having dynamic conversations with women. And I've had a few good men on too, so that we can literally continue to grow in our connections together. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, Cheryl. Thank you. I know I'll be seeing you sooner than later. And I'm just, again, just honored that you're my cousin. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me and keep giving me something to shoot for, girl. So proud yes. of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. Have a wonderful Easter holiday weekend. And remember the, you know, we say this during Christmas time, but I'm going to say it today. Remember the reason for why we're celebrating Easter and y'all be blessed. All right. Absolutely. Take care. Have a Bye. great one.